Hey guys, so I know I'm late to the trend as usual. I finally did an escape room for the first time, and because it was my first time, you can probably already guess, but I was just kind of awesome. I don't know, like really, really good. Hands down, one of the best person I've ever seen play this kind of game. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but I mean, I do have a hundred percent success rate, and I've only done one room so far. So like, wait till I get some real experience under my belt. That number's only gonna go up. I mean, you can even ask the people that I went with who've actually done escape rooms in the past, like just how naturally good I am and how great I was for like my first time. Well, I mean, you didn't ask them, so, but even then, you know, you, they were like, Okay, fine, I suck, okay? I suck, I suck! I'm not good at escape rooms, okay? And yes, it might seem like I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Well, it is to me, because I always thought I would be good at escape rooms. You know, I love puzzles and riddles, I'm usually good at that stuff. I thought it'd be a natural fit, but I guess I just, I, I don't know, I'm just not good at them. I guess I just, um, I'm not as smart as I thought I was, you know? Hey! This is the part where you guys are supposed to be like, hey, come on, it wasn't that bad, it was your first one, you know? Right? Look, some people's brains just work in different ways. It doesn't mean I'm stupid, okay? I'm not dumb. Look, just because I'm a college dropout, and yes, I cheated a lot in high school and middle school to get better grades, so I didn't really retain anything, and yeah, okay, sure, they tested me as a child for ADHD because I couldn't perform so-called basic tasks like raising my hand when I'm supposed to, or not paying attention, or not punching a girl in the stomach for cutting in front of me in the lunch line, even though she saw me there first, doesn't mean that I'm dumb, okay? I just believe that I was there first, Hannah. And Hannah, if you ever end up seeing this video for whatever reason, um, I am very, very sorry for that. Kindergarten me was just a jerk. Who was first, so. Anyway, back to the topic. One of the worst feelings in the world is finding out that, you know, something you always thought you were good at and maybe you took some pride in it, you're not only not good, you're also the exact opposite. You're bad. Bad. And the only feeling worse than that is when everyone else around you who thought the same thing of you finds that out as well. People always used to ask me to go to escape rooms. They would say things like, Brian, you should come with us, dude. You'd have fun. Yeah, you'd be really good at it. I think it'd be really easy for you, too. Yeah, the way you think outside of the box, you'd be perfect for it. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah that's what they said. Well, if you guys say so, I mean, I guess I could give it a shot. Yeah, that's kind of why they're not the uh, happiest campers right now. So, <laughs> boop. <laughs> it's not like I wasn't trying. I tried really hard. Maybe a little too much, to be honest. I mean, yes, sometimes thinking outside the box is great for problem solving. But I tend to naturally already think outside the box whether I want to or not. See, if you've been watching this channel long enough, you probably already know why I would be so bad at these things. To make it easier for those of you that don't, this is kind of what it was like for me. And this is not a reenactment of what happened. This is just the kind of things that were going on in my mind while the actual escape room was happening. It's probably easier to just watch it. Take a look. Okay, so one last time, as we mentioned early in the prep room, we will be watching you. So just to reiterate, no phones. And remember, the key to escaping this room is in this box. And in order to open it, you need to figure out the clues leading to it. Do not try to force this or anything else in the room open. If it's not opening, it's not broken. You just haven't figured it out yet. We've had people break things in the past out of frustration, and unfortunately, we've had to ask them to leave. That's not fun for anyone, right? Especially us, because then we have to fix it. <laughs> That's like. All right, well, if there's no other questions, I'll be... Oh, interesting. Um, uh, what was that? You said that the key to escaping this room that we're locked in is in that box. Yet you know that we know that we have to think outside the box to see into it. Huh. Okay. Um, well, if there's no other questions for me, the timer begins as soon as this door closes. Good luck and have fun. Where do we start? Oh no, I mean she just said this is our way out. Well look on the box with some writing or something. There's only a lock on here. Oh, uh, that means we have to find a key of some sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah. I'll check the books. I got the maps. I'll get the desk then. Alright, there's definitely gotta be something with this chest. What's up with these cups? P.O., what does that mean? I don't know. It's right. Oh, it's broken. Ryan, uh, why don't you look at the inch? Ryan. 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 Ryan, what are you doing? I think I, I think I got it. Got what? I think I figured it out. What, like the next clue? No, how we get out of this room? Ryan, you're wasting our time, that's impossible. Yeah, we just started. Guys, look, remember when she came in here to explain the rules? Yeah, what about it? Well, when she came in wearing all white, I started looking around the room for all these other white things, and all of a sudden, I just realized all the walls around us 
are white. And, and, and they're surrounding us like we're in some kind of institution, like, like we're in some kind of box. And then right as I was making that realization, she goes and picks up another box and, and tries to open it in front of us. What is your point? Guys, call me crazy, call it a hunch, call me maybe. But I really think that if we want to get out of this box, we have to figure out what's in that box. Are you being serious? Yeah, why? She just told us that. Oh. Well, um... See, I told you we shouldn't have brought him. He's gonna slow us down. Okay, okay, she told you guys about the box, but in order to get it open, I noticed that there's actually a... A keyhole! Yes, we know. That's the first thing we talked about. That's why we're looking for hints to find the key. Actually, that's not what I was gonna say, but if you want to find the key, I could actually show you guys what... No! We need help! Actual help! Go, go look at that... Deer or whatever that is. Oh, you mean the sheep head? That's not a sheep. Lamb, sheep, same thing. Oh, maybe bison? Triceratops? It's not a dinosaur. Could be. It's two horns. There's horny dinosaurs. What? What? What are you what are you guys even talking? Look, we wasted so much time that we haven't found a single clue yet. Yeah, I got nothing. Same on the maps. There's just random circles everywhere. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I got some different colored water bottles, but I don't really know what they are. Look, guys, all I'm saying is if you guys don't know where to even start, I could just get things going and just let you guys know where okay, we- Okay, fine. Where do we go, huh? Where do we start? Well, I mean, I would start with the hollowed out book. What? The hollowed out book next to Greg over there. You know, third shelf from the top on the right. Should have a big letter A on it. It should be like some kind of wristwatch or something. <gasps> How did you know that? Well, I mean, I could tell you guys, but like you said, I don't want to waste everybody's time, oh, so... Okay, we were wrong. We're, we're sorry. Yeah. yeah, just tell us what's next. Come on. Yeah. Okay, well, that hollowed out book had a watch, which shouldn't be working, because when a watch doesn't work, you tend to look where? At a clock, which is also not working. So it might appear useless until you see the bottom of the clock, which says made in China. Probably wouldn't think too much into that until you realize that this whole room is covered in maps, and one of those maps happened to be China. Now, the map of China has a bunch of different cities circled, but since they provided us with some kind of line graph of some sort, with the x-axis being the minutes and the y-axis being the hours, we can assume that they want us to use the times on the broken clock and the broken watch, and basically use them as coordinates to find our two cities that are most important. Clock says 345. Mine says uh, 640. It should come out to Shanghai and Beijing. Then we take the broken ruler, which is also made in China, and measure the distance between the two, and it should come out to about two inches. It doesn't have to be an exact measurement, you just have to know that they're saying two inches. They're saying two inches? Well, technically no, not two inches. Two in chess. Chess? The chest. Oh, See? yeah. See, those weird colored bottles you found earlier? They're all different colors, but only two of them in the chest are actually the same colors, making the two in chess the only couple. Just like the cup pulls that Derek was figuring out earlier. And since we now know which colored cup to pour the liquid into, we can follow the tube all the way to our last puzzle, the instruments. And obviously we all know we only need the piano, so we forget about the other ones and we get the sheet music to- Wait, what? How is it obvious? How do we know it's the piano? The cups, they're labeled PO, remember? P-O? What? P-O, P-N-O, P-N-O. I didn't think I had to explain that one. Okay, fine, but it still doesn't explain why you think it's the last puzzle. I mean, we knew from the very beginning that we're looking for keys, right? What has more keys than a piano? Hey guys, there's, there's a note in here. It says, to find the key, you must play the keys using all the keys that led you here in the correct order. Using all the keys that led you here? Correct order? What does that mean? The clues! Things that led us here! The book was the first one! Oh, that's oh, right! Yeah. Book? Yeah, yeah. Look. It's empty. It's like a On the spine! Book. There's a big A! Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's how you knew where to start! Nothing stands out more than a big A. Plain A key. What else we have? Let's just... Oh, um, there, there's a G in here! Okay. G. Oh! F! F, okay. Another G! A! Another A! One more A! That it? No, nothing happened. That was the last clue. It led us to the piano, all right? Yeah, but maybe try it again, but all together? All right, so the order was A, A G, 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 F, F G, G, A, 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 A. Doesn't it sound like Mary had a little laugh? I don't know 
how you did it, but I'm impressed. Well, there's only one last thing to do. Nah, man, you do it. You deserve it. Okay. What the hell? Why would you do that? We have the key. We're probably gonna get disqualified now. You guys still don't get it, huh? What? Look, there was never a key in the box to begin with. Congratulations, you guys set a new record. Yes! Oh, dude, we did it! Oh, dude, we did it! I thought we were about to get this whole thing! Yeah! Oh. See, from the very beginning, she mentioned that the key to our escape was in the box. She didn't say there was actually a key in the box. The box was the key, which is why when I asked her about the key outside the box, she gave me that weird look, remember? People don't usually pick up on that so fast. Well, I, I did know something was up, but I wasn't like absolutely positive that I had to break it yet. You know, because it was two of the rules, like don't break things and don't use phones. Then I started noticing all the random phones in the room, and I realized maybe we're supposed to break the rules. But even then, I wasn't absolutely sure until I saw the broken ruler. Exactly. Broken ruler. <laughs> Clever. Breaking how, rules. How, how do we miss what? that? No, this is the stupidest escape room ever. Hey, it's okay, man. Some people just don't know how to think outside the box. Some people just can't break the rules. They just do what they're told. And you know what we call those people? Sheep. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you already know it didn't happen that way. Like I said, this was kind of the fantasy version that was actually going on my head during the escape room. I was trying to make all these connections and make things work. I was overthinking everything. This was just to show you the kind of things that were going on in my head while the other guys were doing the real work. If you want to see how the escape room actually was in real life, I uploaded a vlog on Hika TV. It's just like a real tiny bit more accurate and realistic than the one that you just saw. Although I will say just thinking about the escape room and writing that skit, you know, the one you just saw, I actually think I developed a technique that will help you or even experienced escapers how to get out of any escape room pretty much with the same success rate as me, 100%. And I'm not just talking in a fantasy, I'm talking reality. Because in reality, that other version would look a little bit more like this. Nah, man, you do it. You deserve it. Okay. What the hell? Why would you do that? We have the key. We're probably gonna get disqualified now. You guys still don't get it, huh? What? Why don't you guys take a closer look? There was never any key in the box to begin with. Wait, what is that? Are you serious? Um, I, oh, does that mean we win? Or I, I, I'm we... sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask all of you to leave right now. Oh, okay. Damn it. What the hell, Ryan? See what you did? Yeah, I do. We won. <laughs> no. This is a bathroom, though.